<laughs> All right, let's be honest though. We're never gonna make it to a game today. So, I think we should watch some TV instead. Great, great by me. Not just any plain old TV though. My TV is powered by my PC. And that gives me everything I expect from my TV, plus a whole lot more. Now in my dorm room, I have my PC as my TV. Or more specifically, I can watch all of my TV through my PC. I go ahead, hit live on this remote, and as I do that, you see I'm using a seat and card powered by cable card technologies. Now, I go ahead, bring up the guide here, and I'm gonna go ahead, find some content that I wanna record. So I go ahead, click some here, record a little bit more, and as I click through this, I'm actually gonna be able to record four HD channels at one time. Four HD channels at one time? Yep, record four HD channels at one time. And you know, cable card has really matured to the point where you can easily watch cable TV on your PC. And we'll support initi initiatives like TV Anywhere, which will let cable TV subscribers do things without an add-on card. Wow. Now, <clears throat> Windows 7 gives me a great DVR. It gives me great live TV and premium channels. Everything I expect from my TV. But because I have a PC powering my TV, things get even better. Of course, I have access to the whole internet. Now, I can go here, I can check on Facebook, see what's new, go check out some crazy videos on YouTube. One of my favorite shows, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I can watch on, on Hulu. Look around Vegas and see a couple things to do while I'm here. Get I Am. Or I can even watch, purchase or rent some of my favorite movies, music and more from Zune Marketplace. And while I'm at it, I can even play some games. Pretty cool. It's great. And this is all in the same, because it's a PC, you got the TV and the full access to everything else you would do with a PC. That's right. So, I'm gonna go ahead, bring this up now. Power went out earlier, so don't mind any, any things you see up here, we're just uh, resetting. I'm gonna go ahead over here and use this, this keyboard. Lots of wireless things going on. All right. Well, one thing here, Windows also gives internet app and content providers ways to enhance their content. I'm gonna go ahead, launch Windows Media Center again. And what I want you to see is to take a look at this front end to cbs.com. Let me go ahead, bring this up here. It's inside Windows Media Center. The experience is perfect for watching from the couch. Here, it's been enhanced for the 10-foot viewing experience. See some content right here. So this is just like a little front end written for Windows Media Center. We're not talking to, quote, pay TV. This is just can be written for any website, and this is talking to CBS.com. That's right. And this is just one example of what application and content providers can do. And even more, let me show you. Now, because this is a full PC, I can get all of my content and my friends' content, pictures and videos, right here. This is my actual home video collection. Got a couple of things here. Gardening with Catherine, yep. Soccer Mania, your talented niece. We gotta get the spell checker for you there. What's this one? Private don't, skydive prep. Don't worry about that. It's none of your business. It is my business. Okay. I wanna look, come on. All right, and we're on stage you, here with all you're our You're the friends. boss. You are the boss. What here is we this go. private Let stuff? Let me bring it up. It's just Blitz again getting ready for a skydive. Nothing to look at. Okay. Yeah. Just, uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Well. That's you. It is me. Are you the nut who jumped out of the plane onto Quest Field? I've done some crazy things. It is me, but listen, I really need you to keep this between you and I. We'll, we'll have it as our little secret. What goes in Vegas stays in Vegas. You can right. count on me. Sounds good. And about let, these people. Let me show you one of my favorite home videos I have. All right, I go ahead, load this up, and whether it's cable, internet TV, or here, one of my favorite home videos, I can do everything I normally do with my PC while enjoying my PC. Let me show you. I go ahead, I can bring up messenger conversation at the same time. 
I was IMing earlier with my, uh, with my brother. He was telling me to get ready, so I'll just uh, thank him. So if our monitor there, oops, we're up working again. Nope. Okay. So on our big monitor there, this would all just work sitting with our little wireless keyboard. That's right. Cool. So as you can see, I get a lot of stuff right here, and I can use it right inside Windows Media Center. All right. Now, so as you can see, TV becomes a lot more fun when it's powered by a PC. But when you add Microsoft Media Room to it, you get even more. Huh. Let me tell you a little bit about Microsoft Media Room then, because I think it's important for you to understand a little bit about it. Media Room is our software that permits paid TV service, and it's available now with the new version on the, on the PC itself. That's right. And Media Room today is uh, available to over uh, 4 million users around the globe. They, 4 million users enjoying every day the TV service on their set-top boxes with the Media Room software that's offered by leading providers like ATT UVerse in the US, BT in the UK, Singtel in Singapore, DT in Germany, and many, many more. JD Powers and Associates have recently rated AT&T UVerse TV the best rated, the highest rated residential TV satisfaction in the United States southern and western regions for the second year in a row. I'm happy to announce that later this year, AT&T will also enable subscribers to UVerse to enjoy that service on their Xbox 360 consoles. All of this improvement in Media Room comes with the new version, version 2.0, which enables new devices for paid TV service without extra hardware, great video quality over the internet, and the ability to author new interactive content development frameworks, all based on our Silverlight technology. The Silverlight presentation and smooth streaming technologies are really the secret sauce that blends the best of interactive video technologies and the best of internet technologies and now with Media Room 2.0, lets operators, developers, and content creators deliver those next generation video entertainment experiences on platforms like the PC. Well, I've got it set up right here. Now, everything I showed you before, like recording four channels at once, you can do that and more. I still get all my premium channels, my DVR, and I could even get a video on demand store from a provider like AT&T. I can get all this on my PC. That is the magic of software. Now, I'll go ahead, show you this. As I click in, I can actually go into the on-demand store. So we're just running the paid TV service. We were running a cable service from Cox over a cable card. Right. And now we're running a service essentially from AT&T or somebody like that over the internet or other networks. Exactly. And here, you see the different movies, but if I want to take my content with me, well, I can simply get all that same content here on my HTC HD2 Windows phone. I'll go ahead and unlock this. You see the video on demand store, and I can also get my DVR content right here. I go ahead, click CSI, hit watch now, and suddenly, it's playing my content right on my phone. Same paid TV service on the PC, on the phone, and on the Xbox 360 from folks like AT&T and others. All my content everywhere I expect it to be. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> the world of entertainment and content 